Infamous here with my first Madden 13 Ultimate Team video to kick off the season. There are a lot of questions regarding Ultimate Team this year that I hope to answer for you guys in this video. So without delay, I will go ahead and get right into this. Alright, so as soon as you go into Ultimate Team, you'll get to the welcome screen which should default to your last year's team name, which you can also change in the help and settings. From here, you will also get started by choosing your starter team captain card. I've already uploaded the video showcasing all the starter cards with the stats, so if you guys want to see those, feel free to check that video out. Really too obvious as to who I was going to choose as my starter, as most of you know I'm a Ravens fan, so no question I had to go with my favorite player, Ed Reed. Once you choose your starter, you will then open up your free starter pack. Most of them will be bronze players with a few silver players thrown in there. Also, according to which team captain you choose, you will also receive both that team's home and away jerseys. So you may want to keep that in consideration when picking your team captain. After you back out, you will then be notified that you have earned new rewards in which they tell you to go check the Gridiron Club Loyalty Awards page, which is located on the main screen. You will scroll down to view loyalty rewards, and there you will see all the incentives that you received from playing previous Madden titles, plus all the ultimate team incentives from this past year. I know some of you seen that 100k coin symbol and thought that was the amount of coins that you would receive for this year's game. However, that was not the case. You had to earn 100,000 coins within Madden 12, and by doing so, they would give you a reward pack for this year. So just to again make this clear, all of us will be starting with zero coins this year. Pages 2, 3, 4, and 5 are all of the keeper cards from Madden 12 if you happen to collect them. Some of the ones I never picked up, for example, one was the regular Trent Richardson keeper card. Really no reason for me to pick him up since I already had the Future Star version. So from there I went down to the loyalty reward setting which I thought should have came up when you first started the game. The default favorite team was the Giants so I had to change that to the Ravens as well as adjust the other settings. As of today, there are a total of 57 collections showing. The first ones that you should see are all the Connected Careers collections. They also have all of the team collections available in alphabetical order. The team coin rewards also vary according to the team, the lowest being 15,000 coins and the highest 25,000. If you guys want me to do a quick run of each of the team collections, I can upload a separate video showcasing those, but for the time being, I'll take a look at the Ravens collection. Completing this collection will reward you 25,000 coins, plus you will also receive a key pack, which contains exclusive cards needed to complete powerful collections. EA posted a blog the other day regarding those key packs in which you can only acquire them through achievements inside of MUT. You will not be able to buy them from the store. They also said that each key pack contains one random key card. You'll notice one of those key cards in each one of these team collections, as well as in the Ultimate Legends collections. From what I have seen, the only way to get one of those key packs is by completing all 16 games of the team's regular season play in the solo challenges. I'm working on the Ravens regular season, so in a future video I will show you exactly what that key pack is. Inside the store, you can see all of the packs that will be available throughout the year. They also of course have the card offers in case you would get yourself in a jam and need one of those player cards. Each one of those costs one coin and has a purchase limit of three. Taking a look at the trades and auctions, as of now there are no cards listed on the PS3 auction block, however there were a couple on the trade block. I do have bad news to report in regards to trades. I had thought that you would be able to trade any card for any card this year, however unless they would happen to change this before launch. As of today you can only trade cards within the same card tier. So for instance there is a silver Brandon Stokely sitting on the trade block. The only cards I can offer are the silver cards, in which this case the only silver cards I currently have in my active cards are the silver contract cards. As I will show you, the same also applies to this Brian Erlacher. The good news is that they will let you offer coaches, stadiums, playbooks, jerseys, and contracts for those player cards. However, they should not restrict you to only trading cards of the same tier. And again, just showing you that you can only trade legendary cards for other legendaries. There was a Dave Casper on the trade block, and even though I had gold cards, it would only allow me to offer the two legendary cards I had, which was Reggie White and Coach Tom Landry. Moving on to my packs, those of you who collected any keeper cards last year will get a pack for each keeper card that you collected. I'm obviously not going to show opening all of them, but I will answer a question some of you may have in regards to the Future Star cards. 
I had collected both the Future Star and regular Keeper RG3 in Madden 12. As you can see, it says I have two unopened packs. The first one was an 83 overall, and then opening the second was also an 83. So those of you expecting to receive a 99 RG3 right off the start can forget about that. After opening all of those Keeper card packs and throwing those into my lineup, I was sitting at a 76 overall. Down in the right hand corner is supposed to be Rookie Hill instead of Whedon, so they will have to change that picture at some point in time. I then began opening all my Incentive Gridiron Reward packs. Again, not going to show you all of these, but I can tell you that in each pack you will receive 3 Silver or Rookie Player cards, plus 2 Silver contracts from each pack, so a total of 5 cards per pack. Players from these packs are really not great, but should be better than your starter cards. The nice thing about these is that you will end up with a bunch of contracts for your players. All bronze contracts add 16, silvers add 32, golds add 48, and legendaries add 80. So contracts on players this year should not really be an issue as opposed to previous years. Opened my legendary reward pack and ended up getting a couple legendary and high gold cards. The first legendary was coach Tom Landry and then a few cards after was legendary breakout year Reggie White. So really it wasn't a bad first pack. This next pack I chose to reveal all and by far was the best pack I opened. Started off with Cowboys 1994 throwback uniforms, Gold Deshaun Jackson, Jason Pierre Paul and then came legendary 99 overall Super Bowl champion Derek Brooks. I would say this will be one of the toughest cards to pull. Two cards later was also legendary coach Joe Gibbs, so really couldn't ask for a better pack as I pulled my first 99. Pack number three started off with a legendary contract, Louis Delmas, Bears home jersey, Eric Winston, Mike Wallace, TJ Lang, Texas Stadium, Coach Pete Carroll, Brent Selleck, 99 Pat Shermer, run and gun offense, and then my legendary player 92 overall Kellen Winslow Sr., Went back to look at that Shermer card thinking that they messed up the ratings, but it is actually a boosted coach card with a plus one to short throw accuracy and minus one to strength. So it appears boosted coaches have returned, but thankfully they are not the team collection rewards. Also went to check that Mike Wallace, who even though is an 89 overall, has a 99 speed. So definitely one of the fastest, if not the fastest receivers in the game. Legendary pack number four started off with Nick Hardwick, Lance Briggs, a legendary contract, Ralph Wilson Stadium, Coach Mike Tomlin, center Dan Copen, Jordy Nelson, another 99 overall coach Ken Weisenhunt with a boost, right tackle Jeff Ota, Lions home jersey, and then legendary 99 overall ghost to the post Dave Casper. So I'm on a pretty good roll with these 99 legends having pulled two and four packs. Today they have also released the free packs for those that have bought the season ticket. The rookie pack that you see I received for completing the Ravens preseason in the solo challenges. The other two which are the pro pack and legendary pack are from the season ticket. Started off with the rookie pack. That pack was filled with a bunch of bronze players however I did receive one rookie John Hughes. Some of those bronze players could be valuable in the future so I went ahead and threw those in my card reserves. Next was the pro pack. Those of you with the season ticket like myself will receive one of these each week. Players from this pack were decent. Those of you that have played MUT last year know how valuable those silver cards were. So I may need those down the road. Did end up pulling 86 Des Bryant so overall the silver packs this year seem to be a whole lot better than they were last year. The last legendary pack like I said all you season ticket holders will receive started off with DeAndre Levy. My second Namdi Asamoa. The 2011 throwback Rams jersey, Mike Upati, Cardinals Stadium, Fred Jackson, Malcolm Jenkins with no picture, legendary coach Tom Landry, coach John Harbaugh, the Lions Stadium, and last but not least, 99 overall corner Dick Lane. So the hot streak still continues, 3 99s and 5 legendary packs. I have no idea how hard these 99s will be able to pull. I watched one guy buy a 10 pack bundle and only received 199 out of those 10 packs so it's really hard to tell this early. I will now show you guys my current lineup and as it stands I'm sitting at a 94 overall. You'll also notice that there is no longer a chemistry bar so I'm assuming they done away with that. None of the player cards this year displayed their college however I doubt that that will make a difference as to whether or not they will make college collections or not. 
I have two of the fastest wide receivers in the game, Mike Wallace and Deshaun Jackson, Nick Mangold at center, Dave Casper at tight end, and Arian Foster at halfback. The 96 overall Kurt Warner was from my 6th legendary pack that I failed to record. Played a few games with him, overall a pretty solid QB. However, as soon as I get my hands on a 99 Joe Montana, he will be replaced. Night Train Lane and Namdi Asamoa at corner. Also have a Cortland Finnegan who is a 92. Still have yet to pull Ed Reed, Ray Lewis, or Terrell Suggs. I'm also real curious to see how that Derrick Brooks stacks up against Lawrence Taylor. However, I have yet to see any LT card. To give you guys a quick look at the reserves, it is basically just like the auction block. You can sort player cards by the date added, overall, position, the amount of contracts they have, injured players, by team and also card tier. So it shouldn't be that hard at all to find any player you throw in there. So that is everything I wanted to at least go over in episode 1. Anything else you guys would like to see, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to show that in my next episode. Before I end this video, just to let you guys know, I have also created a new community with the same title as my team name, Them Dirty Boys. Did not really get involved with it too much last year and have no idea how much I will get into it this year. However, it's there if you guys want to join it. Want to also give a quick shout out to YouTube user Asian Fusion for the win, who sent me this YouTube message. Infamous, I really love your videos and have been a sub since Madden 11 when I started getting into MUT. You are obviously the best person to watch play MUT on YouTube because you show gameplay in MUT most of the time when you are putting vids up and also show who is hard to find in collections. You are the reason why I buy Madden every year and why MUT is my favorite game mode. I can't wait to see more of your vids in the future. I appreciate your busy schedule and know you can't put vids up every day. Once again, thank you for being my favorite person to watch play MUT. I really appreciate you taking the time to write that message. It's guys like you why I continue to make these videos. Any and all strategies that I can find in MUT, whether it be to help you guys out with collections or easier ways to get coins, I will be sure to let you guys know. As of now, coins this year, at least in the beginning, will be scarce. So the best way to earn them right now would be through playing online head-to-head -head games and solo challenges. I have a lot more MUT videos to come, so be sure to stay tuned for those. This is Infamous. I'm out. Peace.